sponsor of uh, Douglas J. Smith, the 17 car. Well, that's good. How's things going? Everything's going good. Uh, we look for Doug to wrap up the championship uh, again this year. Uh, he's one of the most experienced uh, race car drivers that you all have, and I think he's an asset to your sport. What is uh, some of the things you think about before sponsoring a mini cup car, and what are some of the things you would uh, you'd like to say to some people who are considering sponsoring a mini cup car? Well, the mini cup uh, cars go all over the state and uh, even all over the country, as uh, you guys that that drive those cars know. Um, I raced those cars way back in '98 and '99. We went all the way to Tennessee and uh, Albany and Georgia, you know, Lanier and everywhere and it's just a good exposure for anybody that wants to be a part of racing it's cheap you know as far as the uh, sponsorship goes you're not sponsoring a late model or anything like that or a cup car but hey you guys need help just like everybody else and i encourage anyone that has a business to go ahead and get their name on the side of one of those cars pick a driver and go with them go to the races it's a great family experience and i think everybody We'll have a great time. Welcome back to the FMCRA CJ Cheer Pre-Race Show. All right, obviously, obviously Steve Doug's gone right now, but um, you really picking uh, Frank Fister? Uh, I think I'm gonna pick Frank as my dark horse. An obvious pick is uh, Doug. If Terry shows up, Terry's, Terry's always a great one to run out there. But um, I think I want to see a little bit of new blood in the winter circle this week. Well, I would too. Doug's, Doug's gonna be strong. I mean, Doug's gonna be hard to beat the remainder of this year at New Samaria. Even though we have one event. And uh, whatever we come out the gate with next year, beginning of the year, I think does going to be hard to beat. Um, one thing I have noticed uh, watching these deals is a lot of these guys are starting to pick it up on him. I was, I knew Wendy would be good at Arvindale, but I didn't really expect her to put the pressure like she did on Doug. Uh, that was that was pretty uh, amazing. Wendy's good most everywhere she runs. I'll tell you who really surprised me last time was Larry Felino. He checked out yeah. on the field from New Smyrna like I haven't seen anybody but Doug, but Doug do, to be honest with you. And yeah. it was, that, was, uh, that was refreshing to see someone new out there in the front and winning a race. And, um, you know, we got uh, the three car coming back, the one car coming back, and the 20, Tony Stewart. And, um, you know, so we're going to have some cars out there that's going to be pretty quick. We'd like to thank CJ Cheer for their facilities today to do the pre-race show. And as always, you can find their link on our website, floridaminicup.com. Now let's go racing. Outside of him, bring him back to memory of the
the last time these guys were here, that car came through the field and put on an extra show. But he tried to get a little bit good of a jump that time, so we'll try that one again. We're here at New Smyrna Speedway, the Talladega of Mini Cup racing. Man, this is an exciting track, Tom. Last time we were out, we saw our hard charger, Doug Smith, come in eighth place. Wendy, another uh, great front runner for us, didn't do too much better herself. We got uh, Larry Foligno, our soon to be rookie of the year. He's out there killing everybody in the points. He won it last time, and it's going to be an exciting race this time. Yeah, I spoke with Doug earlier, and uh, obviously uh, he's uh, overconfident like he always is here. But uh, I think Wendy, Larry, we got Terry Tullis back here in the Budweiser number eight. I think those guys are going to show him something tonight. I really do. Well, you certainly can't forget Terry Tullis. And we got the number 12 Rick Ariema car. And uh, you always got to look for the 24. As long as he's got a front bumper, he's using it on somebody. You know, at our pre-race show, we picked some dark horses to be out there to, to try to make this deal happen tonight. And, uh, you know, I went with Doug. I, you know, as much as I hate to say it, I think Doug's still going to prevail tonight because of his race experience, not necessarily his car. Um, because Doug's pretty good at this track. He knows his way around. He can, he can draft up with these guys and, and pretty much put a fender on them and intimidate them a little bit. I think he's going to be somebody to deal with tonight. Well, I've already made my pick, and I don't want to be wrong twice, so let's just go racing. Welcome back. We're here with the number 24 DuPont car, uh, Mike Holtz, the driver. Uh, Mike, we're at New Smyrna. Uh, I spoke with Doug a little bit earlier, and he seemed like he was pretty pumped up for this event. Um, how do you feel today? Well, you know, Doug's a good driver, driver, and he has a great car, so we know he's up in the front. Um, I have mixed feelings right now. Last time I was here, I had a problem with my carburation. I'm still working on that. Had it set wrong. Last five laps, I changed it. I found out I was taking the wrong lines. I, I've noticed that when I'm trying to pass, being a new driver, right. I'm trying to pass the guy every turn, and I realize, well, I'm doing a slowing him down and slowing me down. So I'm trying to change the strategy in passing, trying to adjust my carburation, and I think uh, I'm going to be a top five. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, obviously, Mike, you're in the top five right now, and here, this is our Talladega of, of Mini Cups, obviously, here. This is one of our fastest venues on our schedule. Um, anything can shake up here tonight as far as accidents, car problems, or whatever. So uh, mathematically, you're still in the, in the run here. I tell you what, last time we were here, we were running three and four wide. Almost every single turn. I was in the middle. There's cars in front of me, both sides of me, behind me, and we're all holding it tight. And I'm thinking, you know what? One person makes a mistake. There are six cars out of here. Turn two. It's going to be over. So you're right. The top five guys or four guys, anybody can happen. So we got five more races to go. This track's a fast track. Uh, I, I'm still looking for a top three yet. There you got it, guys, from uh, Mike Holt, driver number 24. Steve, what do you got in the pit area? All right, thanks a lot, Tom. We're here with Larry Flino, number two in points. He won last time out of New Smyrna. Larry, what do you think of tonight? Uh, I think I'm going to be doing pretty good out there. I feel confident uh, that uh, I got a fast car out there and we're ready to go to the front. I don't know if anybody else is going to let me go to the front, but I'm going to sure heck try. Now, last time we were here, the weather was a little warmer. Um, you got any kind of different setup for the uh, the colder weather today? Uh, yeah, I'm just trying a little bit different. Uh, actually, a whole different setup. Uh, it's kind of weird that I changed everything as fast as I was last time since I won, but uh, I think I'll be even faster this time. Well, that's good. Change the setup, try to get something a little different going. Yeah. Now, it's your rookie season, Larry. You're second in points. Um, that's got to be pretty exciting for you. You think you can take this championship? Uh, I'm going to try. <laughs> that's all I can do. Uh, uh, I got a lot of good running people out there. It's going to be hard. Uh, you got Wendy out there in front. You got Doug and uh, Rick uh, just nipping on my heels, just waiting to move up. And it's, it's going to be hard. 
uh, but but I'm going to do everything I can to get it. Well, it's exciting to watch you. We'll look forward to seeing the race tonight. Thanks yeah. a lot, Larry. Thank you very much. Thanks, Steve. I've caught up with Wendy, the driver of the 05 car. And uh, as of right now, our points leader, I think she's probably going to carry this thing out. Wendy, what's it be, feel like to be the points leader of this series over all these guys? It's a little bit, I have a little pressure because I know everybody's out there to get me, but it's, it feels pretty good. It's really good. The uh, last time you was at New Smyrna, you run a real deep eighth. Obviously, you was having some uh, car problems out here last time we was here, but obviously uh, at our past race at New Smyrna, you, was, uh, you actually come off and won that one with one to go. Uh, you feel you're going to be a top five tonight? I, I want to make top five. That's my goal, at least to make top five. Your dad has been working on the car a lot to get it back to on the on the top where you're at? Yes, he's been working on it a lot, changing here and there. But I think we got it to where it's going to run good. Is New Smyrna one of your better tracks here? I mean, um, obviously you did, like I said, you did well at Arbondale, but is New Smyrna a pretty intimidating? Is it one of your better tracks? It's one of my best tracks. I like it because it's flat foot all the way around. You don't have to um, brake or anything. It's a really good track. I just like it because... I'm just full throttle all the way around. We hear Steve's caught up with someone else here in the pit area. Steve, what you got? Uh, thanks a lot, Tom. You can always count on him for a good laugh. <laughs> We're here with Frank Fister, driver of number 66 Florida Mini Cup car. This is Frank's rookie year. Tell us what you thought so far about the year. It's great. Uh, I've really enjoyed myself. Um, a lot more than I thought it was going to be. I thought I can get in this car and just go out there and race and be competitive off the start and nothing can be further from the truth. Um, you got a lot to learn. Um, the setup of the car, there's so many different factors in this, it's just not a jump in the car and go race. But it's been a fun year nonetheless. I'm looking forward to a great last part of the year and a great next next year. All right, now we have video of you on your roof at Inverness. What's more fun? <laughs> What's more fun, on your roof at Inverness or uh, under the checkered flag at Orlando for second place? Uh, they're both fun, actually. <laughs> Explaining what it's like to be upside down, going backwards into the wall is what a lot of people want to know. And it happens so fast, boom, you're upside down. But um, they're both a thrill. I prefer to keep all four tires on the pavement, of course, and keep my body work from getting all tore up, but it was a learning experience, and I don't plan on doing it again ever. Last time you raced here at New Smyrna, you, you took a second place home. That was a good finish for you. It's a second, second place of your career. What are you looking for tonight? I want to win. I have a car. I got the gear set up. Our track should be really nice. I'm looking forward to win tonight. Sounds good. We'll be rooting for you. Have a Thank nice night, Frank. Much. Take care. Steve, I was able to corral Doug Smith up here for a few minutes to uh, go over some uh, post-race stuff and uh, talk about last year. Doug, uh, obviously we haven't been out to uh, do any testing today yet, but uh, what, what are you thinking about today? Well, Tom, uh, I've got myself in a hole for this championship. I'm about 68 points back, so I'm going to try and set on the pole and win the race. That's what I've come here to do. I've no, left no bolt unturned on my car. Uh, I've had it in the shop for 24 hours there's nothing left uh it, you know if, I, if if it's not the best piece out here uh i'm in trouble you know the way larry felino ran out here last time uh i could be in trouble but i'm pretty sure that we've got the car dialed in and we're looking to set fast time and qualifying if we can and uh try and win the race i noticed last time we was out here mid-season that um usually you're a pretty uh consistent front runner out here but uh, i noticed that, that you were dropping back in between sixth and eighth place. I think overall you finished sixth. And also Wendy. Wendy, she uh, fell off to eighth place last time. Any particular reason for that? Well, I think I had a carburetor problem. Like I said before uh, on the show Monday night, uh, we took the car apart trying to figure out what the problem was. Uh, usually I can make the high side work here real good. And last race here, the high side didn't work for me. Every time I went to the high side, I got freight trained to the back of the line. I had to work my way back up. I only could get back to seventh place. Well. We, we found some trash in the carburetor, and uh, we pretty much think that we've got it ironed out. We went to Ocala after that, and uh, we were smoking up there, so we run good at Auburndale, led most of the race, and driver made one mistake and uh, come in second. But this is New Smyrna Speedway. This is the Talladega for the Florida Mini Cups, and uh, we're looking to do good tonight. Obviously, we've looked at the numbers, and uh, for you to at least tie Wendy in this next uh, six race shootout you got to at least cover two spots ahead of her is that realistic well I don't know if it's realistic or not all I can do is uh, set fast time lead all the laps and win the race and that's what I'm I'm gonna plan on doing all right that's what we got from the intimidator tonight uh, we'll see if we can catch up with some other drivers in a few minutes we'll be right back